Good morning. What did you have for breakfast today? And what if I was to tell you that from tomorrow, for the rest of your life, you will only get to eat fish cakes for breakfast? Would you accept it? Change is hard. We are all creatures of comfort. Change is also the only thing that gets us going. When I was young, an astrologer told my mother and I overheard it. Her life is all about change. But she will do something brilliant. I hated the word change. I just hated the word change. As an army kid, all we did was change. Change houses, change friends, moved on, change teachers, change schools. I yearned for roots. I wanted to have a stable life. I wanted to be like my cousins who stayed in the same house year after year. And here I was, being shuffled, having to move on from people I loved, could never form friendships. So I diverted my mind to the great thing that I was going to do. Deeply inspired by my father, who was serving the nation at that time as an army officer, I wanted to join the army. And the only way during those times one could join the army was to be a doctor. So I started studying to be a doctor. I couldn't crack AFMC. I cracked two med medical college seats, but I said, I don't want this. Change. Switch. I did microbiology. I went into business administration. Top. Shift. Go to the corporate world. Got through Tata Administrative Services. Shift. I didn't want to join them. So all the students sitting over here and all the parents sitting over here who think that their child, their trajectory of their child is going to be like this. Let me tell you, after serving in the corporate world for 20 long years with companies like Tata's, today I stand on the stage as a spiritual coach. Oh. Somebody spoke beautifully today about the Gurukul. What does my education have to do with who I am today? And now is the time that I help millions of people through a near-death experience that I had in 2013. My graph has not been like this, but it has been like this. Every time a change came into my life, I grew. But how many of us like change? We are always worried. What's going to happen? I hope I don't lose my spouse. I hope my child excels. I hope my child does really well. I hope he becomes a topper. When we don't realize change, the universe forces change on us. Do you remember? In 1970s and 80s, all the movies were made around mother-in-laws not being good. Then after that, it became women empowerment. Also came the time of AIDS. And then COVID. What did COVID teach us? Change. Shift. If you don't shift, you will die. And still we resist change. The most painful thing for any one of us is change. There was a lady who came to me who said, my husband was lying next to me and he just stopped breathing. He just died. I said, how long ago was that? She says, six months ago. I said, what have you done in these six months? You have two boys to raise. What are you doing? She says, nothing, because I'm not able to accept the fact that he is no more. Why did it happen to me? How many of us remain stuck in denial? As a spiritual coach, when I help people, when I help parents, I help students, the first thing I tell them is, please accept How children should be, how my husband should be, how a wife should be, how an employer should be, is changing every single day. Can you go back to your parents and ask questions of them today? No, because the problems you are facing, your parents don't have answers. Because they did not see those situations, yes or no? So, spirituality steps in here. 
टूडे माइंडफुलनेस योगा मेडिटेशन रिलीजियस प्लेसेस इंस्टाग्राम इज फुल ऑफ दिस वाई बिकॉज पोस्ट कोविड द टूल्स दैट वी नीड टू लिव आर लाइफ आर नॉट द सेम टूल्स दैट वी वर लिविंग विद बिफोर कोविड every school needs to have a mindfulness workshop every child must be taught pranayam and yoga spirituality is no longer about being 50 years and then retiring into it spirituality is daily life how do you respond to a certain situation so if i was to call you a name how would you respond to that from a higher perspective or react that is what is spirituality nothing else but awareness something that we all need in our life today yes and when we talk about that we talk about change what is change changing the way you think bringing awareness into your own mind accepting gender inequalities equalities inclusivity everyone has dysfunctional relationships today when people come to me with cancer problems with children who have identity issues gender issues they are struggling for acceptance how many suicides happen how many murders happen because the parents are not able to ex- accept their children as they are they want them to become something that they didn't become and under pressure we all know what happens and they are young children nothing is a coincidence you are not sitting here by chance i am not standing here by chance some of you needed to hear this do you know our bodies change every day the lining of our cells change every day our hair changes every day the trees change every day yet we are not able to accept how the world has evolved how the world has changed so next time change comes to you look at it in the eye and say i've got this